we talk a lot about mercy and grace. And uh, we, we, it's all we want to talk about, it seems like. And I guess mostly because it's it just knowing the free gift of God, you mm -hmm. know, that it comes from Him and it brings freedom, it brings rest, mm -hmm. you know, uh, from all my efforts. You know, uh, growing up, I think uh, the big thing was that uh, was all based on our efforts. Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems like absolutely everything in Christianity was involved in that. Mm -hmm. Did you feel that same way? Oh, yeah. You have to try and try and do and do and do and <laughs> yes. never could pull it off. Right. But you're supposed to. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, you better try harder if that's not working. Mm -hmm. And really, if you think about it, um, it, it's like it nullifies that, that effort, nullifies, it wipes out mercy and grace. Mercy, how would we define mercy? Mercy uh, is not getting something we deserve. Okay, not, not getting what we deserve. and then We deserve death. And, right, right. Yeah. And then grace would be? Getting something we don't deserve. Okay, so the grace, we're, we're, in, in the mercy, we're not going to get something. And then in grace, we get something. Mm -hmm. But if we're basing everything on our own efforts, it nullifies not only the mercy, which the mercy is not getting something, right? Mm -hmm. It also nullifies the grace because mm -hmm. if, it, if it is our effort, then we can't even find mercy mm -hmm. because it's based on my effort. Right. I mean, is that the right thinking? Right. It, it seems like it is to uh -huh. me. Yeah, how do you earn a free gift? Right. Well, and then how do you earn not getting something? Like mercy, how how would we say that? But at any at any rate, but the idea is that mercy. Theologians have said that mercy is really what our salvation. Uh, that's where it comes from. It's this not getting what we deserve. We deserve to, you know, be ground into the ground, mm -hmm. stomped on, smashed. You know, whatever uh, lifetime separation from God oh, we deserve. Yeah. 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 <laughs> For eternity. Mm -hmm. Etern we're laughing about it, but it's serious. We, uh, that, I like the way you said that, lifetime separation. Uh, but mercy comes and says, no, no, uh, uh, you're not going to die. Uh, mercy uh, prevents that from happening to us. But grace goes far beyond that. Mm -hmm. Grace is the gift of His life. So the mercy prevents us from being squashed, right? Mm -hmm. But the grace gives us the life flow that comes only from Him. Amen. Um, and man, that changes everything. Because now a uh, new creation doesn't come from just mercy. doesn't come from just grace. Because mm -hmm. if I didn't get the mercy, I wouldn't get the grace, right? Mm -hmm. So now... In Him, we get to we get to revel in the fact, and we get to enjoy the fact that it is it's all Him, mm -hmm. no matter which way we look. For I've died, and my life is hidden now with Christ in God. And when Christ, who is our life, appears, we're going to appear with Him. Man, mm -hmm. you know what? I, I my, that's my prayer for us too. That we understand this even more, and that's our prayer for you too. That you take another look at mercy and grace and how your own efforts nullify that. Well, don't let that happen. And they can't really nullify it, but it does to us, mm -hmm. right? It mm -hmm. does to me, our thinking. Mm -hmm. So receive His mercy and His grace. Thank today. you for your gift, Jesus. Amen. Amen.